What's up guys, welcome back to another Fallout 4 video and today we're going to be taking a look at 5 awesome mods to download right now on the Xbox One. And this is one of many videos to come, in fact I made a video like this not too long ago if you want to check that one out, um, it will be linked down in the description down below. And this is going to be 5 completely different mods to of what I've covered on the channel before. So I've covered things like cheat menus and spawn items and stuff like that. Uh, if you want to go ahead and check those out as well I'll leave them linked down in the description down below. And at the very end of the week I'm going to do a weekly wrap up series uh, going over like loads of mods in one video. So be sure to stay tuned for that video as well coming out in a few days time but anyway getting straight into this the first mod we're going to be covering today uh, sort of packaged as one is pit boy retextures there's actually three that i'm going to be showcasing to you guys because at the time of me making this video uh, there really isn't too many to the consoles at the moment uh, but the first one i'm going to be showcasing is the vault tech themed pit boy and as the title of the mod suggests it literally changes the theme of the pit boy to more of a vault tech style it has a sort of generic blue and yellowish gold uh, sort of look to it it also has as well the vault tech logo in the background and it's just one of those little things that can really spice up your game a bit you know pit boy retextures are awesome in my opinion and uh, this is definitely up there in the top five out on consoles right now but if the vault tech theme isn't for you then maybe try out the new coca cola theme this one is a little bit cleaner in my opinion it looks a little bit better with the image placements and stuff like that uh, as you can see we're going with a very red and white sort of theme you know to match up with the new coca cola theme there uh, you have like a new coca cola bottle image on the left and then you have some more Nuka Cola images uh, on the right. And again, this one's pretty awesome as well. It's definitely uh, one of the best ones there, again, that's now available on the Xbox One. And for the final one that I'm going to be covering, we have a Brotherhood of Steel themed Pip Boy. Now, this one is a little bit more darker or on the darker side of Pip Boy retextures, in my opinion. It does have that sort of Brotherhood of Steel theme to it with the logo and stuff like that as well. And if you're a fan of the Brotherhood of Steel, this one is definitely one for you guys. And in general, this is just the beginning of Pip Boy retextures for the console versions. I mean, it is only the second day of release now, uh, so you can expect a lot more to come in the future. But for now, moving on to the second mod, one of my personal favorites. And if you guys tune into the streams, uh, you'll know some of the crazy stuff I've made with this. This is any mod, any weapon. And as the title suggests, it pretty much allows you to put any mod from any weapon on any weapon in the game. And here is where your creativity can shine because you can literally create any weapon in the game at this point i've made freaking alien blaster merv launchers i've made all, all types of different crazy merv launchers by the way on streams i'm freaking spraying those things down uh, you can make like crazy automatic freaking rocket launchers and stuff like that uh, you know shish kebab weapons with like freaking sledgehammer attachments on them you can make anything it literally is absolutely insane the creativity you have with this and it really does make for a fun mod because it has a little hint, I guess, of mystery to it because you could make a weapon, it could look like it's going to do something, and as soon as you go to shoot it, it will do something completely different. So definitely want to try out one of the most fun ones in my opinion, and it definitely is up there in the top 5 mods that I know right now on the Xbox One. And while we're still on the subject of guns, why not check out modern firearms? As the title suggests, this brings a whole bunch of modern firearms to the game. And when I say a whole bunch, I literally mean like a whole bunch. From ACRs to Barretts to brand new assault rifles, AKs, freaking sniper rifles, you know, LMGs, you name it this mod will probably have it. I mean, this thing is absolutely crazy. You can see here by the gameplay in the background, just some of the weapons I actually have in my inventory. And now bear in mind, this is probably not even half of them because I managed to purchase all of these from a vendor known as Arturo in Diamond City. And that is how you basically get these weapons in game. Uh, they can either be purchased from certain vendors or you can actually find people in the wasteland uh, that will have these weapons and try and kill you with them so if you kill them first and get the weapon uh, that also is another way that you can get them but bear in mind if you come across an npc with one of these weapons be very prepared because the majority of them are extremely powerful like very very powerful a lot more powerful than a lot of the base weapons in the vanilla game of fallout 4 that are already there so just be warned be prepared but this mod is awesome and definitely one for you guys to download and while you're sitting back and blasting people's heads off with your brand new barret from Modern Firearms, why not check out Enhanced Blood Textures for a more bloody experience around the wasteland. As the mod title suggests, this brings brand new Enhanced Blood Textures to the game. And just as a sort of comparison, you can see here, uh, when I take out these settlers, you can see the sort of the blood splatter that it does give out uh, compared to the normal vanilla one that's in the game right now. 
So you can see there's definitely a big difference there. I mean, this thing replaces combat blood splatter, screen blood, and decapacitation spurts. It increases the blood amount that you have, creates new wounds on the enemies that you shoot, and much, much more that this mod does have to offer. You can see here from some of the other screenshots as well uh, just how different this actually does look. So again, if you're looking for a little bit more of a bloody experience in the wasteland, if that's for you, uh, check it out down in the description down below. Or alternatively, you can simply search for it on the Xbox Mods menu. And just before we do jump in to the final mod of the video, I do want to give a quick honorable mention uh, to spawn items. I covered this mod earlier on today. If you want to check out how the whole thing works, check the link down in the description down below. It's essentially the console commands equivalent on the consoles or on Xbox One. So again, that's just a quick honorable mention to that one. And now let's jump into the final one, which of course is going to be Conquest. Now, for those of you who don't know what this is, it's essentially a camping and settlement building mod that allows you to pretty much build a settlement wherever you like in the wasteland. And it does it in such a great way too. And, and essentially how this works is basically once you've downloaded the mod and I go back into the game, you'll have a brand new section under the aid category in your inventory known as Action Build Campsite. And you probably guessed uh, wherever you are in the wasteland, if you go ahead and select it, then back out of your pit boy it will basically task you to put down a campsite uh, where you want your settlement to be so as you can see by the gameplay uh, when we do this it will now bring up the workshop menus now it sort of begins as a camping mod so starting off you can create your own little camp if you like but if you want to turn it into a direct settlement with its own map location and stuff all you need to do is make sure that you have the materials on you to build the workshop once you've placed down the workshop your screen will go black for a split second then pop back up and it will task you to name your brand new settlement in which i named mine lion as you guys can see there now what this does is it brings it up on the map so it pretty much acts as a brand new location uh, on the map for you to actually go to and that's sort of how it works as building your own settlements which in my opinion is a very awesome way to do it you know it sort of starts off again as your own little camping place where you know it sort of acts as a settlement uh, but doesn't have all of the materials that you would have at a settlement but as soon as you place down that workshop it will clear the area for you and create a brand new settlement for you guys to go ahead and enjoy now bear in mind there's a limit of 10 settlements that you can actually build with this i'm not too sure why there's a limit uh, but i just know that there is and you can also go ahead and dissolve the settlements as well so uh, if you're not happy with the settlement that you have you can simply dissolve it and uh, completely get rid of it if you do choose to and that's just the basics of the conquest mod definitely another one that i suggest you guys download down in the description down below or alternatively for all of these mods you can simply search for them on the xbox mods menu uh, find them download them then enable them that way and that is pretty much it for the video as always if you guys did enjoy this video today and do want to see more videos similar to this in the future uh, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below your support of course is always greatly appreciated on the channel and you guys have been smashing it with the likes recently we've been hitting like over a thousand likes within 24 hours which is absolutely insane uh, so if you can keep up with that on this video as well that would be absolutely awesome subscribe if you guys are new around for videos similar to this daily and weekly and i'll catch you guys next time with a brand new video peace out